Hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm always there. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. So, you guys, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather if my voice sounds a little different than the usual loudness because I've been like, I've had this sore throat for like two days and it's not going away. And I didn't film for two days thinking I would get better, but it's okay. I'm here. So I promised you a full face of Kosa's when I did my Sephora savings VIB sale haul. And here we are. I'm so excited. So when it comes to Kosa's, these were the four complexions I could find. So it will be a full face like this but i'm gonna use a primer and a color corrector from other brands because you know of course we're gonna start with elf gripping primer and i got my hair done yesterday so i was like oh i'm feeling so good you know i just darkened my hair and then like she curled it and you know blow dried it which is like always the best part <laughs> okay so let's let this primer sit for a little bit so it gets tacky okay so now that our primer is sticky I do want to use some of this pore filling primer from e.l.f. So let's grab this and I'm just going to concentrate this one in right here, like where the pores are the largest. I have oily skin, so my pores are a lot more visible. We're just going to fill those bad boys in there. Actually, while we wait, you guys know I love to use concealers on my lid. So let's prime the lids a little bit. I always like the concealer to sit a little bit and then we'll blend it out. Not only does it dry down, but I feel like it adheres to the skin a little bit better as opposed to if you just blend it out quickly. Okay, we're gonna blend this out. See this coverage it gives? Concealer is super pigmented and super hydrating. You have to set down with their Cloud Set Powder. I am in the shade Pillowy. It's a sheer medium tan. I could open this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to just get the creases off. It's fluffy brush. Oh, it has a lot of fallout, but it's okay. And we're going to set. What I'm doing is just tapping down on the lid. Not rubbing, just so that concealer doesn't move. Oh, that's tapping. That's setting nice. Powders I always look for, you guys know, that texture is not accentuated anywhere, especially on my lids. I have pretty textured lids, so that's why I like to use it on the eyelids, under eyes, and face, so I can give you a good review and you know what the product is all about, you know? This is my everyday makeup. Like, this is the way I do it. Obviously, these products are new, so I don't use this in particular, but I just might because look at this. Look at these. Like, look at these lids. Look how it's like your lids, but better. <laughs> now we have the bronzer. This is a baked bronzer in the shade medium golden bronze. And this is how it looks. It kind of looks like the MAC ba bake bronzer. I always, always use bronzer for the crease right here. Oh, girl, that's pigmented. Hold on. So we're just going to add. Oh, look at that pigment. Very pigmented. Like a little goes a long way. And it's always good to test out a bronzer on your lid because when it goes on your face, you kind of know what you're working with. Oh, it has a nice little sheen. Yeah, definitely reminds me of the MAC. But I feel like this is more pigmented. Oh, I like that. And this is like, this is it. We're just going to throw on an eyeliner. You know how I do. This bronzer does have a bit of a, a good amount of sheen to it. So be aware. Because it's not a bad thing, but it kind of gives me the vibe of an eyeshadow. It's that pigmented and it just glides on the lid so beautifully. So I like it. I like it. But just, I like to explain what exactly what I'm seeing, you know? Okay, we're going to use KVD eyeliner. This eyeliner is so bomb. And let's wing it out real quick. Okay, wings are good. Always go back like towards the end and fix things if, you know, it's not working out. You guys, I went back to the gym two days ago and whoo, girl, these legs are so sore. Okay, let's go in with the foundation. This, you guys, is one of my favorite, favorite foundations. I am in the shade 280, medium tint neutral i did a two-day full review if you want to check it out i will link it or i'll put it up here too although i'm an oily gal you know i love a good hydrating foundation that's gonna make you look good all day and blur all the pores you know so what i'm gonna do paint it on this is like when i use this i'm gonna have a good makeup day we're gonna move this hair and i've just been loving brushes well sponges and brushes i kind of like both i don't want to get any on my hair because 
I just got it done. When I reviewed this, I got the shade 220, which was way too light for me. And then I went and got 280 and it's perfect. Like it's my perfect match. And this type of brush, this flat brush allows you to get these thin, thin layers and you can build up as much as you want. Then I'm gonna get this buffing brush, buffing brush from it you guys i'm telling you you know when you're sick you mess up a lot does that ever happen to you anytime i would go to work and i'm sick like my nine to five job i always mess up like always but i somehow don't really mess up when i'm filming it's the love it's the love and i know this video took a little bit because it's been so busy and then this week i got a little bit sick i wanted to film this over the weekend but i couldn't so i'm filming it today today's wednesday you know i need to turn the lights off so you can see First of all, this match, perfect, right? It's like a true neutral undertone and the shade, you get the radiance and you get the blurness. Blurriness? Blurriness? You know? Oh, okay. You know how I usually do? I usually wait around so the foundation could dry down maybe about 10 minutes. It is currently 9.55 right now. I'm doing a TikTok, so my phone's like propped up, but it is 9, yeah, 9.55 and I'll be back. Okay, it's been about, yeah, it's been about 10 minutes. You know what? Let's add a little bit of this Urban Decay spray while it's still a little, little wet. And then we're gonna just work it in. This helps foundation really stick and stay on the skin, especially because this is a radiant foundation. We wanna make sure it lasts all day long. Guys, now we're gonna do an all day wear test. I'm gonna get my NARS corrector. I'm just gonna use Sephora makeup also, except for the primer because i don't know just because we're like in a sephora mindset i feel spray my brush a little bit i'm using the sephora 71 brush you guys the best concealer brush it's amazing after we blend with the brush i always like to get a sponge and then just kind of tap it over just lightly especially the under eye area because that's such a delicate area and you don't want to glob a lot of product there you know here concealer I really like this concealer. Very hydrating, pigmented. That here and then here. And then we're gonna add in the center of the face there. Add a little there, a little there. Again, we could spray. I don't usually do these part, these parts, <laughs> these steps when I am reviewing a product because this tends to help it. This is just how I do my makeup on a regular day when I know I want it to last all day long and it's a lot of setting spray and the actual setting spray not finishing spray it really just helps everything mesh in so well so let's go with the brush and all i'm doing is tapping tapping takes a little longer but it gets the end result beautiful and it, it's worth it so if you just tap so again i'm just gonna be tapping away you always want to get in here because this is where the darkness usually tends to be. Okay, so I'm not going to use a loose setting powder. You know, I always use it. We're going to use the cloud set powder and I'm a little scared. We're going to get the sponge with the powder puff. You guys know I love my good powder puffs. We're going to get this powder, add a little bit. Okay, we're gonna even it out on the hand and then look up, get rid of any creases. And as I'm looking up, we're gonna tap this in. Word on the street is this is a really good setting powder. So let's see, you guys know, setting powder has to work for the under eyes, lids, and face. Wow, that's pretty. I'm gonna get a little more and then start setting the face. And what I like to do is get a fluffy brush and then just like set like this. And I'm just like tapping it over like such. Oh yeah. Oh, you see the skin, how like smooth it looks. A lot of times if you add a lot of concealer, you will crease and I am creasing right now. The way to get rid of that is get a blending brush. Any sort of blending brush, you look up and you get rid of those creases that usually happen like up here. This way, because the concealer is still a little bit wet, since you just set it, you can get rid of the creases. Once it's dried down and just set, you're most likely not going to be able to get rid of those. Damn, look at this. Like, the skin looks poreless. <laughs> you guys, we got pores here. Like, look at this. Like, the foundation's good, but then when I added this powder, it kind of just made it better made it better wow okay wow i'm highly impressed look at these under eyes like where are they <laughs> so last product we're gonna use is the baked bronzer a baked bronzer is usually not like a contour or like where you'll have really harsh lines so i'm gonna get this fluffy brush and because we know this thing is pigmented 
you see this is just adding color to the skin we're not creating any sort of structure because this is just something that is easy gives you color kind of one of those like it's on the go type of deal anything just add a little bit like this busy that you don't have time to like have structured anything bam you see because look just how it's just giving you a flush of color right but because you guys know me let's just clean this up a little bit just a little bit i didn't see kosas has a blush and the blush they did have or the ones that i saw it was sold out on sephora's website so i didn't get it so i got to the sephora over the moon purple blush because why not purple you know oh, we're just gonna tap it like up here the skin looks like straight up porcelain huh look at this I likes i likes okay so like i told you guys it's around 10 let me just finish up the face i said i was gonna just use sephora makeup but you know i had to go drugstore with my lip combo the la girl chocolate lip liner more stone and reef oh you guys nothing like just feeling pretty just having the skin look good not too structured not too much just kind of like an everyday beat right i love the cheeks like you know how i feel about bronzer sometimes they could just be janky but this one's just so easy to use you know you just kind of fluff it give your face a little bit of color and call it a day oh wait hold up look at this skin this powder is beautiful it really just erases all the pores and all the texture of your skin. Of course, the foundation works beautifully. Concealer also, look. You see, it looks hydrating. The lids look beautiful. That color so pretty. It does not feel heavy. It doesn't feel wet. You guys know I usually use a loose setting powder. That's what I like personally. But I really like this pressed powder because it just made the skin look so beautiful and it's like pigmented but lightweight you see you could barely see it and one of the most important things is that kosas is a clean brand at sephora powders are talc free you guys know we're gonna do an all-day wear test we have oily skin here so we need to put the products to the test for the most part it's gonna be like full face of kosas complexion product let's go in front of the window you guys know you need some daylight view and i'll see you later bye oh look at this look at the skin all up in the skin it looks so beautiful and it doesn't feel heavy i feel like when you look flawless like this there's just a lot of steps going in a lot of products not today not today the only concern is you guys know we have oily skin so we're not trying to look gastada at the end of the day maybe we won't let's see in daylight you can really see that umph huh yeah um, i'm back oh my gosh it's almost 10 we've had everything on from kosas of course before we get started i do want to show you how the skin was looking at around five o'clock and i will say it was looking flawless i wasn't seeing any pores oil were barely coming through texture you can't see everything is well put together and here we are now about 12 hours later i've been looking at my skin all day and look how good it looks you can see the blush the bronzer it's just, I'm a little oily because, you know, that happens. But look at this. Look how good it looks. Like nothing separating. And it's so weird because Kosa's, you know, it's a clean brand at Sephora. You don't think of it of a super long wearing type of brand. It's kind of like the no makeup makeup look type of deal. But today I felt like we went pretty full coverage and we still look good. All of the makeup just warmed up so nicely. Even my lids don't look oily. You know what I'm saying? very impressed how well this freaking worked out and actually let's just touch up just to see i'm just just soaking up all the oil damn yeah definitely a good makeup day like this powder right here i would say my favorite thing about this it works beautifully under the under eyes oh actually let me look up so you can see that coverage you don't see a lot of creasing you don't see texture or separation going on like, girl, let me know your thoughts on Kosas. Have you tried Kosas out? It is a woman-owned brand too. So, of course, I'm always happy to support women. And thank you so much for all of you guys who asked me to do this. I know it took me a long time, but here we are. Here we are. Finally did it. And I'll link everything down below so you can check it out because, ooh, this brand. I love it. It's like the brand that really took off in 2022. It was that foundation. That foundation was just like so bomb.
or is bomb. But okay, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you the next one. Bye.